Welcome to Learn Swift Quick, Lecture 1, Constants and Variables. So what is a constant and what is a variable? Constants and variables both are like containers that hold data types that introduce Swift to that data type. With all programming languages, be it object-oriented or event driven, you have to declare all of the variables for the program to know what you're talking about. And you have to declare the constants and variables before you use them. Now you declare constants with the let, L-E-T, keyword, and you declare variables with var, the V-A-R keyword. The difference between the two is that a constant, once it is assigned a data, type that it cannot be changed, whereas a variable can be changed anywhere else in the code. And I will show you an example of that a little bit later. So now that we have defined constants and variables, let's go ahead and open up Xcode and we're going to jump into our playground to show some examples of constants and variables. And if you haven't already downloaded Xcode, just go to your app store, go to the search bar, type in Xcode, and you'll see it as the first one there on the list. Go ahead and download that, pause this lecture, and when you're done downloading it and loading it, then go ahead and unpause the lesson to continue, okay? Now for the rest of us that have already have Xcode on our uh, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or iMac, Let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to jump right in because time is very limited. And we're going to go to get started with the playground right here. Okay. Before I hit that, I'd like to let you know that we're going to have 30 lectures in this course. And the first third of the course will be nine beginner level fundamentals of Swift. With the 10th lecture being an actual application being built. So we'll do nine of these. We're going to go to the playground. And the playground is where you go to practice syntax in Xcode. Okay? Sharpen your skills. When we are ready for lecture 10, we're going to go ahead and create an Xcode project, an actual app that uses what we learned or what you learned in the last nine lectures, which is to say, after the end of each level, so nine lessons and the beginner level, then an app project. So we'll do nine of these. Then we'll actually create an app here that correlates with the preceding lectures that we learned. Then we'll be at the intermediate level and we'll learn nine more lectures, nine more swift lectures. And then we'll have an actual project or app to implement at the end of those 20. Then we'll be at the advanced level and we'll do nine more advanced lectures. And at the end of that, we'll have what I'm going to call a capstone project in which we create an app and actually submit it to the app store. Okay. So as of right now, let's go ahead and jump into Playground. And I'm going to call this L. SQ for Learn Swift Quick, uh, beginner lesson one. I'm going to go ahead and let that sit on my desktop. Click create. I'm going to expand this window out here. And this lesson is about constants and variables. Welcome to the playground. The playground, if you think of a basketball player, and I have no choice but to think of um, the reason they call it playground, is because this is where you sharpen your skills. You know, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, I'm pretty sure they played on the playground to sharpen their skills before they got into the NBA. So I'm assuming that that's why they called it playground. However, without digressing from our subject constant and variables in Swift, this is the playground where we're going to practice all of our source. We're going to do the majority of our lectures and you're going to learn how to read actual Swift syntax. 
Um, because, you know, unless you're some wannabe programmer that's reskinning apps, I know you've, you've heard of that. Um, it's for naught. I mean, wouldn't you like to implement your own syntax and get an app in the app store? You know, when you open up an application, whether it might be a Git repository or whatever, uh, where or wherever you found the um, syntax, you want to be able to read that syntax and understand it, not just to reskin it and put your name on it. Or that's that's you know, kind of lame, you know. And more than likely, it's going to be rejected anyway from the app store. So uh, I'm here to teach you to read syntax in Swift. Okay, if you're on the beginner level, no problem. I'll teach you the ABCs. That's what we're doing now. So we're at constants and variables. Okay, and like I said, constants and variables have to be declared before they're used. Okay, and you use var to declare a variable, and you use let to declare a constant. Now, here's an example by default here in the playground. And let me show you how to declare or to make a proper declaration. We have, and I'm going to start from right to left, and I'm going to explain to you why. We have, this is called the data type. Okay, and this is called an assignment operator. And this is called the variable name. And of course, this is the variable keyword. Okay, so this is saying hello playground is assigned to the variable name str. And so if I were to say print str, it's going to show up in the debugger and below. I didn't ask you to do that. That's about inference. I'm going to tell you about that. Swift is an inference language. It always infers and tries to figure out what you're talking about before you even do it. That could be a good thing. Sometimes it can get on your nerves when you know what you're typing. So you see here at the, the output, hello playground, and you see in the debugger, hello playground. I had it print str, and that's what it did. Okay. Um, so we know what a variable is, and we know what a constant is. And you say, well, what's the difference? I mean, I mean, you said that variables can be changed, but let constants cannot be changed. That's correct. And so you would say, well, I could just use variables and don't use constants. Well, there's type, there's reasons, and um, that you won't, that you need to use the let constant that does not change. And I'll give you an example right now. So let's say that you're creating a login for a bank, okay? I would use the let constant for the maximum number of logins. That's called, the way, I'm, the way I wrote this is called upper camel case, okay? So I would say let maximum number of logins equal five. Now that's a constant. So now the maximum number of logins is now an integer in memory that's equivalent to five. You can't change that at all. So if I come down here, I'm going to do a forced error. I'm going to say max, a minute here, maximum number of logins equal 10. Hey, what's that red dot there? Well, I'm willing to bet you it says you can't do that because it's a let constant. Let's click on it and find out. Cannot assign that it is a let constant. <laughs> So Swift says, you know what? I'll go ahead and change it for you. Just, just change it to change, change it to a variable. And then you can change it. So if I double click on this, now it's gone. And now the maximum number of logins equals 10. Okay. So we have 10 attempts. That's a variable now. Okay. And that's a good example of showing you how? Now, we don't want it. We wouldn't want 10 because obviously we said after five, we want it to do something. But that's a good example of showing you when you don't want it changed. So ordinarily, especially when you're talking about security and login attempts, you would keep that as a let. That's just an example of showing you 
when you would use a let constant. Okay? So let's go down here. And when I give examples, I just use the ABCs because it's just easier for me. So if I say, I'm going to declare a, a variable named Adam. And I'm going to say that equals a string. And that's a good declaration. Okay. And I'm going to say the next variable is named Bill. And that's a string. Okay. So you can either say that a variable with a variable name and assign it to a data type. Or you could say a variable with a variable name, and this is called a type annotation, okay? So colon is a type annotation. And what it's saying is of type. So the variable bill is of type string. And that's a good declaration as well, okay? So once you declare your variables or constants, you don't have to uh, re-declare them. You could just use them. They're locked into memory. So now I can say bill equals Candy's brother. So now I'm changing. I'm, I'm taking can. I'm taking this data type, this text, this data type, this string, and I'm assigning it to this variable name. So as of right now, Bill is Candy's brother. Okay. And if I were to print it, let me say the same thing in the debugger below. Okay. So let's declare a constant this time. Let Dan be of type string. And we're going to let that equal. Cindy, or I said Candy, and this one, Candy, and Bill's brother. So I have a constant with a variable named Dan, and it has a text that is assigned to it, a string text that's assigned to it that's called Candy and Bill's brother. So far, so good. Everybody's following? Perfect. So if I create another constant, I can say let siblings be of type string. And we're going to let that equal. And I can say Dan is... Put a quotation mark around here. Dan is pull the data from the variable Dan. That's all I'm asking it to do here. And the end result is Dan in this output window. Dan is Candy and Bill's brother. Okay, if I want to print it below in the, de in the debugger, I will just print it. Print siblings. And you would have it here. Dan is Candy and Bill's brother. Okay. So if you look over here, you see the ends. These are called line breaks. 
and I'm going to show you real quickly how to get rid of those. So I'm going to say print siblings, comma, call the terminate key, and add an empty string at the end, and that should definitely get rid of that line break. That's not terminate, terminator. My fault. And as you can see, no line break. So, so that covers constants and variables. Our next lesson, lesson two, will be on data types. And we're going to go even deeper with it, variables and constants. I look forward to seeing you there. Practice your variables and constants. And we'll see you in lesson two. You have a great rest of your day.